Okay, today I just want to share with you how I use my Xbox controller with X Planes 12. Um, I use this simulator quite a bit. I also game on Microsoft Flight Simulator. I've got a whole toss and that whole setup for that. And for X Planes, I also have a yoke, um, throttle quadrant, and rudder pedals as well. But sometimes it's just easier to just grab the Xbox controller and just hop in really quick and fly some circuits. So just want to share with you how I set up my Xbox controller. Uh, right joystick, um, left and right will be the roll, and up and down is the pitch. The left joystick, left and right controls my yaw, and up and down I use to control my view up and down. Sometimes you're sitting in a plane and you need to glance down at your instruments, so I use that up and down. Um, the bumpers on the top of the game uh, controller left bumper is to toggle the brakes I use that as my par parking brake but it's to toggle the brakes maximum effort and the right bumper is to set uh, toggle beta prop so if I'm flying the evolution I can engage the beta prop and bring the plane to a slow now, uh, now right below it you got the little triggers as I call them the right trigger is for the right toe brake the left trigger is for the left toe brake so when you're flying a plane like uh, the mall, which is probably my favorite plane to fly, it's easier to steer it on the ground with the toe brakes than just using the rudder alone. Um, I set my throttle on the A and B button. A button is to throttle down a bit, and B button is to throttle up a bit. Um, flaps I set with the X and Y, so if I press the X button, that's going to drop the flaps down a bit, and then the Y button is to raise the flaps up a notch. Um, then I've got the little game pad, the little, I call it the plus symbol, whatever the official name is, but left and right is to glance to the right and glance to the left. And then my trim settings is the up and down on that same game pad. So that's how I set up my Xbox controller and it gives me the best experience when I'm not using my yoke, throttle quadrant and so forth. And so I just want to share with you briefly how I set it up. And in my next video, I'll show you how I, uh, what I think about when I try to make these landings, you know, where I try to grease the landing. My landing technique is not for the uh, best short field landing, but it's what the type of landings that I like to make. So thank you so much for journeying along and look forward to creating more content for you guys. All right, talk to you later, bye.